To make an edgy miniskirt, we will need scissors, pins, clothes pins, knit fabric, leather, a pattern, and a sewing machine. For this project, I'm using the pattern I showed you how to make on my previous video. If you haven't watched it, click the link here on the top. So, on that, I take from the middle line 11 centimeters and then I trace it and then just cut it. So, we will end up having three pieces. I am using faux leather, so, like any other non stretchy fabric, you need to find the right grain of the fabric to place your pattern. Here, I show you a diagram more or less how it should be done. So our pattern would be placed like that. Now to save fabric, I fold it like so and place the edge of it on the fold of the fabric. Pin it down with close pins because it's le full leather. So if you would use normal pins, you would just end up making holes on it. I cut two centimeters on the bottom edge for the hemline and then one centimeter for seam allowance. Uh, all the way around. To cut the second piece, I'm using the first one as a guide so I don't have to measure again. And then just cut all the way around, making sure that your pattern or your piece doesn't move. That's why I put these weights on top of it. For the rest of the skirt, I'm using jersey fabric, so we need to cut the waistband and we need to cut the middle part we had cut out of the pattern before, like so. Just leave one centimeter seam allowance and two at the bottom for the hemline and we need two of these pieces. We will end up having then five pieces of cut out fabric. So now take the two neat rectangles and place them on top of one of your four leather fabric like so with closed pins again and sew all the way along the edge with one straight stitch. To sew four leather you need to use a longer stitch than what you normally use and then just sew like you usually do with a straight stitch uh, one centimeter from the edge. And do this with both of the sides so you end up having something looking like this. Now we take the other le four leather fabric, right faces facing together and, uh, and then the same thing again, so along the edge with a straight stitch with a longer stitch than you usually do. So now it's time to put the waistband and the skirt together. I am going to mark where the middle of both of four leather pieces is and we're going to sew the waistband like so with a straight stitch. When it's sewn, uh, fold it onto itself like so, making sure that the seams are open and flat. Now I just pin it a bit around because it's neat so that it's easier to work with it and we are going to put it onto the skirt. Start by pinning down the middle of uh, both pieces and then work from that on. The knit that goes onto the fall leather shouldn't be stretched. So just place it on top and pin it down carefully that you are not stretching it. Like so. And also pin down the seams open so that when you sew it's easier. You will see that your skirt is bigger than your waistband, that's normal. So just when you're sewing, do this with a zigzag stitch and stretch your fabric while you sew both knit together. So as you can see to sew the fall leather, I used a straight stitch and then I went on using a zigzag one 
for the knit fabric for the the stretchy one and then while sewing stretch both of the thighs together so that it's flat nice and still elastic then when you come back to the fall leather on the other side just change back to the straight stitch Now you can actually skip this step but I think it gives a nicer looking finish to the skirt and it's just stop stitching on the top taking with it the seams at the back of the waistband. Now the last step is finishing the hem. I fold it inside the fabric and sew it all across with a straight stitch then cut the excess fabric and use some fabric glue to finish it well then nicely fold it into itself and use some books or boxes or whatever you have to press onto it and just leave it there for a couple of hours so that the cool dries well and voila i hope you like this tutorial if you did please click on that thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and if you do make it or something inspired on it please send, it, send me a picture on Instagram and follow me on Twitter and uh, i see you guys later then